And the switch hitter's got his first major league hit to right field. He's headed for second base, but he falls down, and he'll have to hold it first with a single. And now Lindor's pointing at Miguel Cabrera, saying that there was interference by Cabrera that caused him to fall down. And Cabrera saying no. Well, I'll tell you what, he sat back on a pitch to his liking and he drilled it down the right field line. I think he was just so excited he wanted to get to second base that those feet were moving too fast. He gets a nice fastball down in the zone and he was thinking double all the way. Watch him around first and stumbles after he gets over there. Hits first and sort of tripped over first. Come back, come back, come back. Look at Cabrera tell him to calm down. <laughs> Well, congratulations, gets his first hit. Here they are, 12 and 12. Lindor sends one right back up the middle into center field. That's a base hit. Kipnis will stop at second base. Back to back singles for the Indians. You talked about the fact that Lindor, uh, when he sees Tigers pitching coming, he just plays his best baseball. Let's make that our bell tire pitch by pitch. The one thing Boomer is going to have to do, especially in the middle of the order, guys, you got to pitch ahead in the count. There's got to be first pitch strikes because once you get the count to three and one against a dangerous bat like Lindor, who feasts on fastball, he's going to put in play with some authority as he did there, and he found the seam up the middle. Messing with Mickey. <laughs> Taking a page out of a Jose Altuve's book. High pop, and this one's headed toward the catwalk. It's up there. It hit it. It hit it. No. Never came down, did it? It's up there. It's, it's stuck. There. It's stuck. <laughs> Look at it. The Look. sky is falling. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was deep. He thought he had a, a beat on it. And he was coming over there, and he got he ducked out of the way. Watch it. Look at I don't see it. Look at uh oh, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> it stayed up there. Didn't we talk about yeah, that tonight? We sure did. <laughs> Add the name to the list. The well, ball's that's not in fair territory, though. Well, that's true. Well, we still got it. Yeah. I mean, maybe they keep track of the foul balls, but who cares about those, right? Uh, I do right now. Brooklyn's <laughs> career. Now, ball up the middle. Lindor flags it down, spins and throws, and got him. Another terrific defensive gem by Lindor. Well, he, he makes it look easy because it doesn't speed up on him. He has to go to his left. He Once he reaches out and catches it, look at the off-balance throw. Right on time. Got rid of it in a hurry, so. And it ate up Lindor who went down. Gets up, throws, got him! Oh, baby! Lindor knocked to the seat of his pants, but he would not be denied, and now he can't believe it. <laughs> that ball was hit so hard, it literally knocked him back. And he had the presence to get up and fire his seat and retire Cabrera. I'm sure he'll have something to say to him at first base at some point in time, either the rest of this game or tomorrow. <laughs> stolen bases and only Napoli has them stolen in this postseason. That ball was hit well to right center field, and it's out of here. Francisco Lindor has broken the scoreless tie. Oh my! Way back in right field. The question's how far? Goodbye, home run.